Hi there, it's the Arab Carthage bringing you another Rome Total War online commentary battle. Um, I'm once again playing as the Carthaginians. Um, I have a front line of five Sacred Band Spearmen. I have two pointy to guard the flanks, and I have four Sacred Band Cavalry here. And over here I'm hiding two Round Shield Cavalry in the woods. As you can see, this is the Pripet Marshes, the same map where I fell to the Prince of Macedon's army. In fact, I remember this ground up here pretty clearly. I came close, but no cigar. Well, I don't even really can say I came close. Um, his archer slaughtered me. So in any case, um, and funnily enough, I am facing a Seleucid army, which was the army that the Prince of Macedon used. Of course, this army is different composition than his. My opponent has four silver shield pikemen up front, which I'm not worried about at all. He has two companion cavalry there, and two more companion cavalry on that wing, and a Greek cavalry squadron here. Um, I thought that my opponent would have troops hidden in the woods here, and I thought that's why he was making these moves with this cavalry. As you can see, he's moving all to my left flank, so I assumed he was trying to get me to focus here while he sprung a trap from the woods. So my plan was going to be to march forward with my men right here on the edge of this forest. Because if he has cavalry hidden, I want the cavalry to engage my infantry in the woods where they will be at a disadvantage. So I'm going to march my army forward. I'm really not concerned about his infantry, but I am concerned about his cavalry. So as you can see, I have two round shields hidden here, and he's coming in to position his cavalry, and I'm hoping and just hoping that he's not going to see my men. Um, but as you can see, his companions are getting very close. And while I'm looking at my unit roster, this unit here becomes visible, and I now have to make a run for it before he gets my men. So there you can see I make a run for it. I don't think he's quite noticed me yet, or else his cavalry would be springing on me. Brown shield cavalry may not be good at much, but they are very fast, as you will see. So here my men are on the run. I'm going to quickly run behind his cavalry. His Greek cavalry is the only one that's going to be fast enough to catch them, but I catch them off guard. And here they come, but it's too late. I've made it past them, and my round shields are now headed into the back. What I decide to do is just to keep my round shields running, because if they get caught, they'll be destroyed, and I'm going to run, 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 and see if he will follow me. That will make his cavalry tired and busy them needlessly. But as you can see, my round shields are easily outrunning his companions. So I bring him in, do a quick strike on some of his archers. I'm going to march my infantry forward while he's busy with the cavalry fight. And my sacred band hoplites can easily take his um, silver shield infantry head on. They're gold gold upgraded just like my sacred band. The sacred band are superior. And I outnumber him. Or as far as units go. So here you can see my cavalry still creating a ruse. I have my reserve force back here because I know my infantry can easily destroy his. And so here's my cavalry finally gets caught one unit, and they're going to rout immediately because they're so outnumbered. Or, yeah, there they go. My other cavalry, I run behind my pointy infantry in hopes that he would follow, and then I put them in phalanx. And he doesn't follow, which is smart. But also he can see that his phalanx line is in jeopardy. And so I believe he starts to make a move towards his phalanx line. It was either that or towards my cavalry, I'm not sure. But in either way, now is the time for me to strike. So I pull my sacred band cavalry into a full attack before he can strike my infantry. And uh, it looks like there's a pretty even fight between my infantry. It says it's pretty even. Let's see. I don't know. It's a pretty close fight between the infantry, but I'm pretty sure in the end mine would win. So in any case, his cavalry is now facing um, tough, um, stiff resistance here, and they're surrounded. I have round shield cavalry on this flank, and I have pointy infantry behind, and then my sacred band up front. So they were caught in a vice there, and his cavalry is going to be destroyed. So there they go. Now I'm going to take my cavalry behind this line and finish off the enemy. As you can see here, this phalanx is all broken up and they're now fighting uh, sword to sword. My men are winning, as are my men all along the line now. They're, uh, except for I think, yeah, my men are winning all along the line. Let's take a look. Yep, here you can see my sacred band given to these silver shields. Sacred band are just superior troops. Now, someone online. Um, and there is nothing the enemy can do but run.
Someone online posted a comment um, about Carthaginian Sacred Band asking if it was a legitimate unit. So I did a bit of quick research, and I found that there was such a thing as Carthaginian Sacred Band, and they were hoplite troops. They were Carthaginian nobles. Um, I think it's said in the 4th century BC they were trained in hoplite warfare, and they were very wealthy, so they could arm themselves um, with extravagant armor and weaponry. So they would have been quite a tough force. However, they wouldn't have been super common on the battlefield. But in any case, as you can see, that was a clear victory for me. Um, I had 691 kills, and my opponent, Huggy Bear, had 217 kills. Good game to Huggy Bear.